Hey guys, welcome back. Another night here under the stars. Uh, lucky enough to be shooting on a weeknight. Uh, it's a, what is it? What is tonight? Tonight is a Wednesday night. And uh, we're at our local haunt of Mugra. Uh, so it's a good time to come here because not many people come out during the week. But uh, we've got ourselves a clear night and I want to shoot something different. Uh, I've got myself uh, an 8mm fisheye lens from Canon and I'm going to be using that to uh, shooting some ultra wide time lapses and give me two seconds we'll pause this because I've got a car coming towards me. Okay as I was saying we're back out here at Mugra and uh, we're going to be using a fisheye. So I've seen this done a couple of times on uh, uh, around the social media traps where people have used a fisheye and done a, a time lapse of the Milky Way. So uh, I want to give it a go. So I've never done it before. Uh, I've got a load of this fisheye lens. So I'm going to go set that up and I'm going to let it run for as long as we can. Uh, I've got a battery grip on it. So uh, hopefully it's going to run for at least four or five hours, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I want to get started soon because yeah, the Milky Way is up and running. So uh, we'll uh, jump to it, we'll get in the car, go to our spot and we'll set that up. So the main setup is I've got to try and figure out how I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod to get it to face uh, 90 degrees. Because to set this shot up, I'm going to want to uh, set it 90 degrees pointing directly up at 12 o'clock. So with the fisheye, because it's got such a wide angle view, like essentially 180 degrees at the eight mil mark on this, on this lens, um, I need to find a good spot down low, point it straight up. And once I've done that, that's sweet. That's, that's pretty much the, uh, the setup of the camera. Um, I'll have its settings all dialed in. I'm gonna be doing 30 second exposures because I'm shooting so wide, I could probably do longer, but I'll do the native 30 seconds and I'm just gonna let it run, essentially. I'm just gonna take photos every 30 seconds until the batteries run out. And that's, the set, that's how I'm gonna be running this camera tonight. I'm just gonna let it go so I can just set and forget. Um, but because I'm gonna be doing that and it's so cold, <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to warm the lens up. So I've got these lens warmers, which I'll wrap one around the lens and it's going to be powered by my gigantic 26,000 milliamp battery I've got here. So that'll just hang off the tripod and that'll keep my lens nice and toasty so she doesn't fog up. So that'll be the plan for tonight's first shot. and. Uh, yeah, the, the beauty of doing a time lapse is that you get a time lapse, but you also can get uh, a single image out of one, but then also you can turn it into a, a Star Trails shot. So you get a three in one by doing time lapses. So they're definitely worthwhile doing uh, when you're out shooting because you get, you know, three in one. So it's really good.
testing, testing. One, two, testing. All right. Okay, well, that's, uh, I've got one camera set up and I've been uh, shooting some photos whilst the uh, Fish Islands is doing its time lapse. But um, yeah, tonight I'm not shooting alone. I've got my, uh, my mate here, John, with me. Uh, John Wright, you may have seen his work. This is John, say hello. G'day. I hope you can see me. Let's see if uh, I've got my exposure right. Yeah, we can see John, that's good. All right, so we're, right now, we've just been taking some photos of uh, another scene where we've got some trees in the foreground, some dead trees. Um, probably not even taking photos of the galactic core, which is uh, not something that normally happens when you go out shooting Astro, but the uh, composition lends itself to uh, the southern part of the Milky Way. So we've just been shooting that and talking about settings and, but also because we're shooting with each other, talking about, uh, I guess, etiquette of shooting with someone. Uh, it's all right when you're by yourself and you, you've got no one else to worry about, but having lights on, even if you're using a red light, uh, yeah, it can get in the way of uh, other people's photos. So you always gotta be cautious and uh, I guess courteous of other people when they're shooting. And right now, I think uh, John wants to do a video and I'm now lighting up his scene so I'm not being very courteous. But uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a piece for John tonight. Uh, John's gonna do a bit of a video. So I'll, I'll link his channel down below so you guys can go check that out. And um, whatever video he's gonna do on me, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be good that I can talk on a video and not have to film myself. But um, I'm gonna get onto that. But next time you see me, Either I'm going to be waking up, waking up from the back of my car, or I don't know if I can promise this or not, but I might get another shot later on in the night, early this morning. We'll see if we can squeeze in another shot, but right now I'm shutting down and work on John. Oh, I just saw a meteor. There was a meteor. Yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just a bit after two. Um, which is where we're gonna woken up, and I've just gone and collected the uh, the time lapse, which I'm assuming that you probably have seen. Uh, I've had a quick little look at the back of the camera, and uh, looks cool. Looks great. So. Um, look forward to putting that together and uh, seeing how it looks but as I said you've probably already seen it but now I have uh, I've woken up and I'll try to keep waking up <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to try and get another shot so I'm just going to have a look at my phone see if it's going to be possible uh, I'll probably drive there now and uh, suss it out if it's worth taking the shot or not. Um, if it's not, then I might just sort of go home a little bit early. Um, but we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, if you see me next, it, it could be taking another photo. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll go check it out. All right, it's uh, four o'clock in the morning now. Uh, I'm a bit more awake now. Um, I've been uh, setting up a couple of shots. I'm going for, uh, this is gonna be the last shot for the night slash morning. I'm going for a uh, panorama. Uh, I've already done one uh, using a 24 mil lens to uh, get a shot of uh, the Milky Way arching over the uh, this mountain range. 
but now I'm just waiting for it to get even lower and really sort of hug the, the, the tips of the mountains. And I'm going to use a, a 50 mil and zoom right in there and uh, get a nice uh, uh, pano along the top of the mountain ridge. So if all goes well, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, you'll see those images in a sec. But um, look, it's freezing. It's absolutely freezing cold. It's about two, three degrees, but there's wind. So it's feeling like zero. It's, uh, I'm actually quite warm because I've been sitting in the car with the car running for a bit. But... Um, yeah, uh, look, I'm not going to baffle on too much. We're, it's, I just want to sort of get this shot, get going, get going home, because I've got another day of work today, so I've only had a couple of hours sleep. But look, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below. And hey, look, if you want to keep seeing stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, and uh, you can check out the rest of my videos I've posted uh, previously if you're new. But uh, if not, I try and post at least uh, one blog uh, a month. Um, but yeah, hopefully these sh shots turn out, these panos. And uh, if they do, you'll see them uh, right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.